Hello, YouTube. Happy almost April. This is my uh, end of month video from March 30th, 2018. This weekend's a holiday, so I figure I'll do it uh, today, Friday. Um, the end of silver spot price, end of month silver spot price is 16.43. It's down two cents from last month where it was 16.45. Uh, end of gold spot price is $1,328.41. It's actually up $9.20 from last month where it was 13.19.21. So, you know, things are pretty stable, I guess, in that market. So we'll see what happens over the summer and late in spring. Let's see what happens. This is your first time in my uh, video. Welcome. Here is my stacking goals. You could read over them. Um, just basic cost average lowering, getting uh, pertaining to my stack, and trying to get some gold in the mix. That is where I'm at. So let's start cracking to where I um, was this month in regards to my pickups. Uh, let's say first things first. Um, I do collect the Queen's Beast proofs, uh, one ounce proofs, and um, I was fortunate enough last month to get two one ounce proof Red Dragon of Wales, and they are proof 70s. Um, they're beautiful, beautiful coins. Um, I'm collecting this series. Um, I got these for $149 a piece. They're already selling for $250 up on eBay, if you could even find them. There's a couple on there. Um, but uh, these are great grades. I'm trying to uh, attain an entire proof 70 perfect two sets. So um, these are two of my really beautiful purchases this month. Um, I do not count my proofs or my numismatic coins um, as part of my silver sp uh, stack uh, pertaining value-wise. Um, so that's a whole separate entity altogether. Uh, I also got another beautiful numismatic piece. It's the 1803 Eight Reels coin, and it is Mexico. I only collect the Mexicos. You can see the MO. That stands for Mexico right there. This is a really, really, really tough great grade to get, and it is becoming harder and harder to get these in any grade, not like details or anything like that, a physical, physical grade on it. So that's an 1803. I also picked up an 1806. It's a very fine 25. Oh, the 1803 was $203.96. Uh, the 1806 that you're looking at here, again, you can see on the back, Mexico City. Um, this one was $149.99. And then I also picked up a one peso to keep the whole series because I am doing 1772 through present. So that means I do need 1900 coins. I got a 1959 one peso for an MS64 and it cost me $17.46. That's pretty good. So I'll tell you what, let's go into my book here and let's look first things first. We got the Queen's Beast. So as you can see, this was my fourth Queen's Beast. So I get to cross off the Dragon of Wales and you see it was $149. That's what I paid for the Unicorn and the Lion I got for $139.34. I still need one though and they are rather expensive now. So I gotta wait on that one if I find it in the future. Uh, next, we talk about my, oh, let's do this one, being that we're passing it right here. Here are my pesos, and you can see last month I picked up the 1957s. This month I picked up a 1959. So um, what I'll do for the 1959, it, just like I did for these, is I'll check mark it, and now that one's off. And, you know, you could see there are a lot that I have to fill in in the 1900s. I wasn't going for them. I was, as you could see right here, going for... The 1800s, 1700s. So what's fantastic about this is I get to um, cross off a couple more. So you see I got the 1803. So I get to cross off the 1803. And I get to cross off the 1806. So right here I got 1803 through 1808. And I'm making some progress here. I'm going to try to fill in the other ones. Uh, 1790 through 99. I have the 93. So let's see what we could do with that in the near future. All right, next. Um, let's talk about a more modern coin. 
I got a 1991. This does count as my bullion stack, and it is more expensive of a coin. But this is a 1991 uh, PCGS MS67, and this is the Type 2, where you see it's capital, lowercase, capital, lowercase. Um, it looks a little different than the standard 91, the A here, the R here. They only made 50,000 of these. This is actually the rarest Libertad that you could find, although people will say 1998 is with 67,000. Technically, the Type 2 1991 there's only 50,000. So an MS-67 is a pretty good grade. Um, it costs $90, but I had eBay bucks, so it almost split it in half. I say $44.37, it cost me $45.57 for this, which is a fantastic value, especially that it's graded and it's an MS-67. So very happy about that pickup. Um, so next, let's talk about just some bullion that I picked up. Um, I decided to try a company that I never tried before, and it was called Monument Metals. And if you've heard of them and you've um, used them, awesome. Let me know in the comments. Um, this was my first and only purchase to date so far. But what I did was I got 10 ounces for $15.67 per ounce shipped, which is fantastic. It was a special deal they had. They got to pick the rounds. So I thought it was interesting. They gave me five of the buffalo um you know with the it has the mark in the middle that if you have the device you're you can um just look and it says i guess sunshine mint or something on it but it's the buffalo indians so i got five of them but i also got something that i found interesting it's called a talent um, and I had no idea what this was. It says the ta one talent of pure silver, silver, excuse me. And it says on here, lift up your eyes on the back. It says one troy ounce, 0 0.99. Um, it's right here on the front. And I didn't know what it was. I looked it up online and it turns out it's this religious organization that is selling silver. And I went on eBay and People were selling them for $30, $40 per piece. And I have five of them, and I got them for $15.67 randomly. So, you know, as far as I'm concerned, it's just one ounce of silver. But if I really chose to, I could flip it on eBay and double, maybe triple my money. Apparently, they're a little bit more harder to come by. So I thought that was interesting. If you know anything else about it, please let me know. Um, but ultimately... I couldn't go wrong for $15.67 per round. So, so that's 10 more ounces at fifty-seven or $15.67 each. Not bad. So super happy about that one. Um, next, I received a, or I bought a 2018 Britannia, the gold gilded Britannia. And the front is gilded. The back is gilded. It's a beautiful piece. I paid $34.98 for it. Um, it's 24 karat gold gilt on the front and back. I collect these. Um, I'm trying to fill the set in, which is very hard to do. But I keep it up. Every year I get the one. Um, and it looks nice in my album. And it's still a set of them. And, I, and I've been doing pretty well with them. Um, additionally, I got one to regular, I put them in these cases, regular Britannias, one ounce silver Britannias. These are the 2018s, as you can see. Um, I paid $19.12 each for these, so that's a pretty decent deal. And then I got two graded ones. Uh, these are the uh, MS69s. They were selling for $35.63, but I was able to use eBay bucks, and I got them for $24.00 and 10 cents each. So these are graded MS69. They are beautiful coins, um, but these go into my set as well. So because these are my Britannias, I, um, I keep track of them in my checklist. So let's cross some of these off. So right here, here's one that I get to cross off. 
Here's two that I get to cross off. I still need the 2018 proof. So we'll get to that at some point in the future. And then additionally, I got the graded 2018 and I got two graded. So we crossed that one off. And the G stands for gilded. So I get to cross that one off also. I still need the 2017 privies, which are the rooster. And then this year is going to be the dog. Hopefully they'll come out with them at some point. Those are what I'm missing here to fill the, that gap in. Um, and if you're looking at this, look at this as a sheet. And I have uh, books that have nine coins on each sheet. So as I cross them off, I know exactly what is in each row of the sheet. And I'll show that to you maybe next month. Um, so that is my stack for this month um it's pretty good i'm pretty happy about it um in the end for march 18th these are the coins in pink here that you see that i don't count they're numismatics so i don't count them but this is those reels and the uh queen's beast proofs but i spent 324 dollars and 59 cents this month on 16 ounces aside from the newsmatic coins all right it came out to $20.29 because of eBay bucks, because I got the really cheap uh, rounds right there. So $20.29 per ounce. So when I add this number to this number, I get this number for this month. Divided by, I added 16 ounces to this number is this. And it comes down to my total for my total stack with graded pieces and rounds is $24.44 per ounce. I am down four cents per ounce from last month, so that's progress. Um, my goal is $24.39 this year, and I'm at $24.44, so that's pretty good. However, I know that I'll probably boost it up with some other purchases of you know, higher value coins that I'll probably need. Like I'm gonna get a proof or a NGC, MS70, Libertad, and they're like $50, $55. So, you know, that raises the price of my stack. But in the end, I, I'm doing pretty well. Uh, here again is, like I do every month, the list of all my pickups. So you can see I didn't get any gold this month. This is my numismatic coins or numis yeah, numismatic improves. Here's my numismatic bullion and rounds. And then finally, this is the rest of my Britannias. So that is my stack, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And if you have any questions or you have any other information on those coins that I showed you, let me know. Thanks so much and um, have a great April. Bye-bye.